God. That's okay, so I mean. you only interview me when I'm talking opposite <laughs> animated characters. <right? laughs> Apparently I do. In fact, I was gonna ask you that because they handle these things so differently depending on the movie. Yeah. You seem to have great chemistry with everyone on screen, even your your enemy, you know, Dr. <laughs> Robotnik. But so are you talking with anyone when you're talking with Sonic? If you're in the front of a car, or is that an empty seat? Is it a placeholder? It's an empty seat. Uh, sometimes it's a placeholder. Sometimes it's a stuffed animal, a little blue, you know, kind of crudely put together Sonic. Uh, sometimes it's a bean bag if you have to hold him, right? So that it feels like you're right. holding weight. Right. Sometimes it's a piece of tape. Um, but you do have somebody reading his dialogue with you off camera just so, just for the, t the spacing of the rhythm of the scene. But it's no replacement for Ben Schwartz who, uh, who yeah. went in and knocked it out of the park and gave Sonic his voice for the first time. And well, I don't think the first time in like, in cinematic history yeah. I think the first time for sure. But uh, in the video game he didn't speak until the later video games. But uh, it, was, it was cool to see what Ben did with it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I was talking with them, you know, he was the proof of concept guy that That's right. got the spot. Yeah, they did a little short yeah. film with him. It's sort cool. of like a test thing, and they're like, he's, he's Sonic. That's the voice we want. Yeah. yeah. So you've done this kind of thing where you're acting opposite beanbags and whatnot. Is, is that tough? Are you used to it? Yeah, and I don't want people to think that Ben Schwartz is a beanbag, although he is a beanbag. <laughs> wow. Well. To me, it, like, it makes me, it brings me back to being a kid again, and like the imagination I had when I was a kid. And, sometimes can get lost in you know, adulthood, right? Your day-to-day -day things that you deal with. And to be able to play pretend to get in a car or, or you know, share a scene with an animated creature that's not really there, you go and I delve into my mind's eye and I see, you know, I see a 12-year-old kid who's like, I have three kids and um, my, the most fun th time I can have is diving into their world and being present with them and like, so it's, it's a kind of, fun thing to be, you know, driving down the road in this truck talking to, you know, this like hyperactive, curious little wide-eyed, innocent, sarcastic little creature. And I get to just sort of imagine what that would be like, you know, and, uh, and you know, let the, your imagination take over. With kids, is it important to do something like this that's so family friendly? I mean, I, I think it's PG, right? I'm looking at the poster, uh, my vision isn't that great. Yeah, PG, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have three kids, and when we all want to watch a movie together, I, this is the conversation I have. What is the film that we're all going to get something out of? Like, my seven-year-old's going to get something, my 18-year-old's going to get something. And I, I think that this is exactly that template, which is, I grew up playing the video game, watching and loving Jim Carrey, and like idolizing his work. Um, so the older people are going to love that, right? Feel the nostalgia of this iconic video game character coming to, coming to life on the screen. The kids are gonna love it anyway, right? Because it's action, it's fast, it's this little uh, superhero, basically, little blue cute superhero. I just think the humor is there, the heart is there, it's just kind of for everyone. Yeah, it's got everything. Action, yeah. <clears throat> heart, humor, and it's really funny. Yeah, good, yeah. and it's like, and not three hours. <laughs> no, right? No, Enough with the three hour movies. <laughs> no, we don't need them anymore. That's true. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. You got it, good to Have see you again. The time for talking is over. It's time to push buttons. Your flying eggs are pretty impressive, Mr. Eggman. But let's face it, you'll never catch me. Confidence. A fool's substitute for intelligence. That's not good. Uh, Sonic, I know you got the super speed and everything, but Maddie and I? Totally defenseless. Probably gonna get blown up. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I was not expecting that. But I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count.